Good morning. Welcome to the DFS Army YouTube channel. I am Razzle11, and you can find me on Twitter at Razzle11Grinds. Going to take a look at some pitching for today, Sunday, the 18th of June. I believe we have a nine game main slate. Yep, it looks like nine games. Uh, we'll take a look and see if we have any weather to worry about um, on this nine game slate. Looks like the main trouble spot is uh, Minnesota. Uh, but it doesn't look like it's horrendous or a guaranteed to be PPD. So uh, let's just dig in. Top option on the slate, Charlie Morton against Colorado. Massive home favorite. Um, not as great at home this year, but last year... I remember he was far more dominant at home than on the road. So uh, there's not much that needs to be said. Uh, the Colorado lineup is pretty weak overall. Charlie Morton, the top option on the slate. Um, John Gray, I don't think I'm going to pick on Toronto. Uh, you know, Gray's been pretty solid all season. Um, slightly better on the road, but he's been great over his last six starts uh, along one run or less, coming off an elite 12K performance. Um, his last start, but uh, has been dealing with blisters, so that's something to pay attention to. Uh, obviously hasn't thrown in a week and a half, so I'm just not really going to go with pitching in that game. Um, I just finished up the morning free article. Uh, I think either pitcher could be dominant, but I think we also could see some runs in that game. So I'm going to end up going elsewhere. Will it burn me? Maybe, but I'm willing to take that chance. Uh, Jesus Lazardo dominated Washington in his one start earlier this season. It's been atrocious on the road, uh, which is definitely a worry. His walk rate drops on the road, which is nice to see. Uh, it's just a matter of getting some outs. Uh, elite upside and obviously pretty low floor, but he has dominated against Washington. Washington's a pretty weak offense. Uh, he just needs to avoid Lane Thomas at this point. Uh, Lane is one of my favorite bats against left-handed pitching in all of baseball. So, uh, But Luzardo definitely going to be high up on my pool. Freddie Peralta is going to make my pool uh, super volatile. Far better at home, which is great. Uh, the overall Pittsburgh lineup hasn't been swinging it the best. Um, he does allow home runs, and that's worrisome. But I love the elite upside uh, when things come together. So I am going to ride with them. Uh, not going to be a, a big-time play in my pool, but uh, if I had to guess, he's probably more of a 20 to 30% play, uh, with Morton being probably double that and Lazardo being above that as well. Uh, like I mentioned, Bassett in that game, I'm not really interested. Even though Texas's offense has cooled, um, you know, it's still a dangerous spot, and he's been absolutely atrocious on the road this season. So uh, it's just not really a spot for me. Uh, I understand he dominated the Mets on the road. Uh, there is elite upside, like I mentioned, um, but there's just blow-ups in there, and I think I can match even an upside game from him. From other guys, so that's kind of why I'm I'm choosing to be off of Gray and Bassett in that game. Farland could be an interesting piece. It all depends on that weather. Uh, has been really good at home. One issue is our home runs, but uh, I still like him a bit as long as the weather clears up enough for us to where we're not looking at a in-game delay. Uh, Dean Kramer is interesting to me. Um, mainly because the Cubs aren't rocking a lineup with a ton of left-handed bats. Um, and that's the way to attack Kramer. So uh, if we see a right-hand heavy lineup from the Cubs, I think that puts Kramer in a better spot. Uh, he is a favorite in Wrigley today. So he will be somebody that I'm interested in getting exposure to. Uh, and to be honest, that's really all I want from this slate. Uh, I think we can play Renel Blanco. Um... He's looked solid. Uh, home runs and walks been an issue. 
uh, but been pretty solid. And the overall Cincinnati lineup has cooled down uh, quite a bit. There's some strikeouts in there. Uh, it isn't some slam dunk spot for him, uh, but he's somebody that I'm definitely interested in getting a little bit of exposure to. Uh, Matthew Libitor could be somebody I'm interested in. He's just been smashed by right-handed bats, and I expect the Mets to be very right-hand heavy. Uh, the one saving grace for him is that the Mets lineup has been pretty ice cold of late, so uh, maybe we get some upside from Libertor. But I think my player pool is pretty tight uh, from a pitching standpoint on this slate. Uh, there isn't a ton to absolutely love, uh, so my goal is to just go overweight on the guys that I do like. Uh, that's my general philosophy anyways, but uh, having a smaller pitcher pool is going to allow me to go very overweight on all of those guys. Uh, which to me is key, uh, allows me to focus more on bats after that point. So uh, if you enjoy what I bring to you, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button and turn that notification bell on. Get that alert anytime we drop videos at DFS Army. And if you want to join us, get access to the coaches, our tools, the Discord. I'll put links in the description below. You can use promo code RAZ, it's R-A-Z, for 10% off your monthly membership. And as always... Best of luck, everybody.